Hello and thank you for watching our videos at Eric Merritt Sales AZ Real Estate of HomeSmart. This video today is going to talk about the difference between mortgage brokers, mortgage bankers, and traditional depository banks. So, and then the next sequel to this video will talk about closing costs fully explained and why they can differ so much from one institution to another. So please like and subscribe and share our videos and you will be notified of future ones as well and please share it with your friends. Thank you very much and we'll get this video started. Differences of a mortgage banker versus a mortgage broker. Mortgage bankers are normally the bigger companies and have the and have higher overhead that they have to pay for so mortgage brokers generally do have lower overhead but that's not to say that all mortgage bankers will charge more than mortgage brokers or give you the best loan product for that matter number two mortgage bankers directly fund loans with their own money and they work directly for their financial institution number three mortgage Brokers will shop many financial institutions and investors, wholesale investors, to find the best loan products for their clients, and they do not work for any specific lender. So basically what that means is, um, an example, I have a couple that has FHA, but they don't have money for closing costs. So the lender said, well, I actually have a wholesale investor that will do that, but instead of being 3.375%, it's going to be 3.75%. So that's only three-eighths of a point higher because they don't have four or $5,000 for their own closing costs. So that is not too bad of a deal. If it was a full 1%, that would be a bad deal. So anyway, there are loan products out there that many that different brokers or bankers will have that someone else may not have. This is not to say that mortgage bankers are, it's, are more expensive than their closing costs all the time because it's not necessarily true. There are mortgage bankers that have that are smaller and have less overhead and so some of those have very low closing costs like one I deal with out in Peoria. He's a mortgage banker but he has very low closing costs. Um, and we're going to go into the closing costs in another video in the next video. Number six, mortgage brokers can have more access to more wholesale investors for more loan products than what a mortgage banker or a normal loan officer can do. Traditional depository banks will have stricter guidelines, slightly higher interest rates, will need higher credit scores, and they may not have access to loan products that you may need in order to get your deal done to get you the best possible lowest closing cost uh, the best interest rate and the time to close. I used both mortgage bankers and brokers for that same reason because there is no one size that fits all. A mortgage banker or a mortgage broker or a new home builder finance institution like D.O. Horton, uh, DHI Mortgage for example, can offer a loan product that a buyer may need that someone else may not offer. So I'll give you an example of this. I had a buyer, my client, uh, that was qualified for 225 with another realtor on a DPA down payment assistant grant, FHA, and the closing costs were almost $8,000. I knew that was way too high. Said, we need to get you to a different lender. Got him to, to my lender in Peoria uh, with hometown lenders, and he was able to get him 50,000 more in qualifying purchasing power and lower his closing cost by $3,000. So if it wasn't for that, we would have never shopped these brand new homes at D.O. Horton back in late January that were in that 275 price range. Well, come to find out that Anthem at Mail Ranch had $134 in HOA and his qualifying amount was based on an HOA much lower than that of $60 a month. So that kicks the buying power back down again. So D.R. Horton said, DHI Mortgage said, if you come up with your own down payment, 3.5%, then we will, then you can get the house that you want, and we will also give you $6,000 in closing cost assistance. So even though these new builders, I'm going to talk about that in the sequel to this video, closing costs. 
So if it wasn't for my lender in Elton Peoria, I never would have sent them to or show them brand new homes. So because of that, now he has $55,000 in three months of free equity, not even living in it yet because it's not built yet. So please like and subscribe and share our videos and you will learn more about the buying process. There's a lot of different videos that I can make that I'm going to make. So I hope you can share this to your friends. I hope you find it useful. And my number is 480-999-6061. Thank you.